channel if you're new here hi i'm mary i would love it if you stayed for a while grab a snack click the subscribe button and if you're a returning viewer thank you so much for coming back i appreciate you more than you know so for today's video i thought i would redeem myself for my last strip lash video i have gotten so much better at applying lashes i figured i would do a video for people who are beginners at putting on strip lashes maybe there's a couple of tips and tricks that i can teach you to where it takes away that fear of putting on lashes. so without further ado let's get started so as you can see i pretty much already have most of my makeup on it's a pretty simple look today um we are going to go have some mexican food once i'm done filming so i am just not in the mood to put on too much makeup pregnancy man this last week has just been oh this nausea is no joke <laughs> So I just haven't been in the mood to put on too much makeup or do something too drastic. So I figured for today I would do a little bit of an educational video for you guys, especially for those of you who, you know, see all these amazing strip lashes out there that are so beautiful, but you're so scared to even try it just because it honestly is really hard when you first start putting on lashes. It's definitely something that you have to keep practicing. It doesn't just happen. I'm going to show you the easiest way that I found to put strip lashes on. First things first is I coat my eyelashes with mascara. A lot of people skip this step. They just go right in with their lashes. But for me personally, I definitely feel like my lashes need to have something on them in order for the strip lash to actually stick to my lashes. Um, if you want to skip this part, you're more than welcome to, but I always have to put on just a tiny coat of mascara on my lashes. It doesn't have to be any specific mascara, just use whatever you've got because your lashes are going to be covered anyways with a strip lash. So I just put one little coat. Alright guys. Mascara is on. I don't curl my lashes. I just feel that when I do curl my lashes, I feel like they get in the way of me putting the strip lash on. So once I put my mascara, I just leave them as is. Next thing is glue. So just because your favorite YouTuber loves a specific glue, it does not mean that is the best glue for you. I have tried this Kiss glue doesn't work i have tried this other one too the little tube it works but it literally takes like a minute just to dry down which is ridiculous um when i first started i used the black glue i don't use black glue anymore <laughs> I know a lot of people rave about the House of Lashes glue or like the Tati Lashes glue. I have tried both of those and they don't work for me. They just don't work for me. I ended up purchasing some Eilor lashes and these came with like a tiny little stick of glue. Well, I ended up testing it out just to see if I like it and I absolutely loved it. One, it literally dries down within seconds of applying it to your lash. You seriously put the lashes on your glue. By the time you're done putting the glue on the second lash, the first one is like ready to be put on to your lashes, which is amazing. This is what it looks like. As of right now, this is my absolute favorite glue and is the glue that I use every single time I put my lashes on. It just, it's honestly, it's amazing dries fast it's like not clumpy you know sometimes when you put lashes on and you literally are taking glue from your lashes like all week you're taking glue off of your lashes i found that with this glue and the formula i don't get that as much than when i used like the duo or the kiss lash glue but i definitely suggest that you guys try out a few different ones and find out which one works best for you all right now for lashes 
If you are a beginner, 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 I definitely recommend for you to start with a lash that has a clear band. The reason why is because they are lightweight, you can barely feel them, and they are very, very, very easy to work with. For today, I only have these Eyelore lashes, which are very, very, very lightweight. These are actually one of my absolute favorite lashes that come from the drugstore. And also House of Lashes, these are the Iconic Light. These are super lightweight, super easy to maneuver and just literally put on your eyelids with no problems at all. For today, I think I'm going to go in with the eye lore. Like even though they still look a little bit dramatic, I definitely feel like these are more on the natural side and my makeup today is like pretty casual. So we're going to go in with these lashes. All right guys, so every time you open up a new box of eyelashes, you're going to have to trim them down. A lot of the times they are really long. I always like to trim from the inside sometimes I trim on both the inside and the outside but for sure if you are a beginner I definitely feel like if you need to trim your lashes trim them from the inside these are already cut to my length so these are all good to go so the way that I measure my lashes is I literally get the lash and I just stick it on here and I see exactly where they are and I'll be able to know like where I need to cut it, how much. For some reason, this eye is smaller than this one. So what I used to do is I would measure this eye and then I would put the lash for this eye on top of the one that I had already trimmed and trim it exactly the same. Well, for some reason, this lash would fit perfect, but this one, it would be too long and it would like poke the inside of my eye. So now what I do is I measure each eye and then I trim it according to the size of my eye. I don't use the same measurement for both lashes. <laughs> so I got the right one on this side and the left one on this side on my vanity sitting down. So I literally pick up the lash and I think part of the reason why I really love this glue also is because it has a, like a little stick and it's just easier to like put the glue on here versus like the, the tubes, the sticky tubes. And I literally just, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so once you put the glue on, like literally almost by the time I'm done putting the glue on this one, it's gonna be time to put the other lash on. You gotta wait for the glue to get tacky. And how do you know that the glue is tacky? It starts to look a little bit clear. Not completely clear, because that means it's completely dry. But when it starts to look a little bit on the clear side, that's how you know that it is good to go. I use tweezers to put my lashes on. You don't have to. They definitely have like eyelash tools, but for me, it's too long and I can't work with it. So I have to use tweezers. You don't have to. I'm just saying there is other options. <laughs> All right. So can you see how the glue is starting to look just a tiny bit clear. That's how I know, okay, it's time to try and put these lashes on. This is the first lash that I put the glue on. Now what I do is I pick up my mirror and I look down, lash, and I'm looking down the whole time and I literally just stick it down and see how it's not moving? That's because the glue is tacky. So this is where I place with my tweezers, this is how I maneuver the lashes to go where I want them to go. So if it's not as far as I want it, I pull it and that's it. It is on and perfect. It's not gonna bug me, it's not gonna poke me. The other lash, and let me show you the glue as well. See how it looks a little bit clear? That means it's nice and tacky. Same thing, look down, pop the lash on and with the tweezers maneuver the lash to where I want it to go and that is it the lashes are on <laughs> now what I'm going to do is you don't have to do this I know a lot of people are scared to poke their eye out I've been using tweezers to put lashes on for quite some time so I'm very comfortable with using my tweezers I push down and I make sure that 
my lashes and the strip lash are stuck together. So here is my lash and then I push down, push down, push down. From the inside I actually go this way and I push down. It's just to make sure they are nice and secure, you know, they're nice and on. Okay, now this one, push down, push down, push down, push down, go on the inside, push down, 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 down. Okay, I'm going to bring you in closer, that way you can see they're pretty secure. Glue is nice and dry, so you can't see white glue residue, you know. And that's it. The lashes are on. <laughs> Okay, how cool wick was that? I literally, it took me what, 10, 15 minutes at the most? <laughs> Tip number one was find what glue works for you. You're probably going to have to test out a lot of glues and that's okay. Look, I have these. Um, when I ordered the Tati lashes and the Jamie Genevieve lashes, they came with this little glue. This glue is horrible, oh my gosh. I literally applied so much of this glue on the lash and it was literally lifting up every 10 seconds. I That glue was ridiculous. For these, these are okay. It's just because it's like the little tube, It sometimes too much product comes out. It already takes forever to dry down and this is one of those glues where it's like a whole week and I'm still taking so much glue out of my lashes. Okay, and lashes. If you are a very, 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 very beginner in putting lashes on, make sure that you are practicing with lashes that have a clear band. They are easier to work with because they maneuver so well and they are light weight so you don't feel like you have this heavy lash on your eye make sure to cut the lashes trim them however you want to say it to the length of your eye they all run in different sizes it's not one size fit all for me this eyelid is actually longer than this one so i have to cut both lashes separately they can't be the same length because they won't fit on both of my eyes i know that's so odd but trimming i think is definitely something that it's hard because sometimes you can trim too much which i have done <laughs> but it takes practice and unless you keep practicing you're not gonna get better at it <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I hope you learned some tips and tricks. As you can see, I put on my lashes pretty quick. I am so damn proud, and I definitely redeemed myself from the first lash video that I what uploaded like six, eight months ago. Oh my gosh, it is a disaster. Don't watch that one. Watch this one. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. I hope you loved this video. I had fun filming it. I like educational videos. I like watching them. Robert Welsh is definitely one of those makeup artists that puts out a lot of educational videos out there and I really enjoy his content because I actually learn something new. And the number one thing that I have learned from him is that everyone's different and not everything works the same for everybody. Even though I am doing this video for beginners, the way I do it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you, but hopefully you can take some of the things that I showed you and kind of make them your own to where it does work for you. I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out in the algorithm. And also, if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family. We are slowly growing and it makes me so happy. Go ahead and comment down below um, any videos that you would love for me to make. I would be more than happy to take any suggestions. I love it when you guys comment in the comment section and I love interacting with you. It honestly, every time I post a video, it's what I look forward to the most. All right, guys. Well, I will see you on the next video. Bye.